Good afternoon, Vinyl Community. I've just got some new information, new to me. I think it will be new to many of you about a particular record label that we want to watch out for. In my most recent video, I showed this record. John Hammond, Big City Blues. That's not what the video is about today. When I showed this the other day, I would not actually listened to the record yet. The record Sonics, Fidelity, Sound Quality are outstanding. I would call it virtually an audiophile record. So what's the point? Where my thumb is there. Stereo Lab, Vanguard, recording for the connoisseur, Stereo Lab. Okay, Discogs has a separate listing for Stereo Lab records. They list 86. Of those 86, about half are classical and the other half are mostly Joan Baez. Okay, they can't be that many Joan Baez, so I'm sure there are a lot of duplicates. This record is not listed. One of the records that's listed is Buddy, Gla Buddy Guy. I know Vanguard recorded a lot of the Chicago Blues guys. So I don't know how many there are in this series, but I'm on the lookout for Stereo Lab records, and I just called my record store today. He said, oh, yeah, we get them in regularly. I said, hold them for me. Uh, I'm interested in more Stereo Lab records. I'd even pick up a couple classic, because these aren't expensive. Uh, generally recorded in the 60s and the 70s, the sound quality is just outstanding. So how you uh, recognize them? Stereo Lab. Here on the back, underneath Vanguard, it says Stereo Lab. Okay, the other thing, uh, possibly back in the day I had some of these. Don't remember. I don't remember seeing them. Here is the inner sleeve that comes with that record. It says Vanguard Recordings for the Connoisseur. The Bach Guild. I don't know anything about the Bach Guild. Uh, may have been a uh, limited edition. This is supposed to be a reissue. Uh, I, I googled uh, Stereo Lab and I looked around and they're really is very little information available. Now the record I have and the records that there were pictures of shown on Discogs all have this, well they have some differences but mostly they have this this nice gold label uh, and uh, so uh, my friend Dean DeBone, if you haven't seen his channel, that's his channel name, Dean DeBone. He likes these audiophile quality records and ones exhibiting good s sonics. Check him out, but the reason I mention that specifically, uh, he posted a video yesterday showing uh, some records and he showed a Vanguard Stereo Lab record happened to be the Weavers at Carnegie Hall. Uh, a lot of the stuff like the Joan Baez seems to be uh, folk music and so forth. But as this John Hammond record shows, they, they uh, did quite a wide variety of music using this stereo lab technique. Actually, almost forgot here. Uh, says this is a Vanguard Stereo Lab stereophonic disc die cut by the new 4545 system. Blah blah blah. I won't read it all to you here. If you find one of the records, nice big paragraph talking about this is not the same as all the other Vanguard records. 
Just wanted to do a quick video today. Didn't want to talk about any specific music. I recommend uh, you watch out for Stereo Lab Records. Let me know down below if you have some really good music that were put out on these uh, Vanguard Stereo Lab Records, like this John Hammond, the Buddy Guy, maybe some others, and. Uh, Let's see what we can find on this stuff. I, I just thought it was very interesting. I suspect uh, many of you are like me, never paid any attention, never noticed the difference. So, start looking. <laughs>